So I go on YouTube yesterday, open up my computer where I see a video titled Brent TV is sus? Boom, boom, boom. What's going on, YouTube friends? So a common question I get is, do I have haters? Yes. Yes, I do. Honestly, I think it's funny. I mean, typically when you get to a point where I am on, you know, TikTok and YouTube, you're gonna get yourself haters. The best way for myself to deal with it is to, you just to laugh it off. But today I thought it would be fun to show you what kind of hate I get. Uh, so I came across this video yesterday called Brent TV is sus from a channel called Lamster with a whopping three subscribers. So he's trying to get his three subscriber army to team up and hate Brent TV. So what this video is, is me reacting to a hater and how I respond to hate. If you're not a hater of mine and you're excited for this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Now let's dive into this and see what this guy's all about. Alright, so there's this pretty weird guy I found on uh, YouTube and a few other platforms like TikTok called Brent Television. And this, this is his Okay, never mind about that. You got problems with SpongeBob popsicles? Woo! We're off to a good start already. This is my G's face. And, um. That's a bad cut and a bad beard. <laughs> Gee. Obviously, this nine year old has a better beard than me. When a nine year old critiques your beard, there's something very satisfying about it. Loki, I'd rather watch this kid, Brent TV. My competitor! Gamer, who literally looks like a trash me than that guy. Like, not even gonna lie. And he's like obsessed with SpongeBob popsicles. Like, I need to, like, see if he's okay somehow. Like, like... yes, good sir. I am obsessed with SpongeBob popsicles. I think they're funny and they're delicious. You got a problem with that? And one day he found a perfect one and he's just like flipping out. Any normal person would freak out if they found a perfect SpongeBob popsicle. Am I the only one? I'm not gonna be like, whoopee ding, I found a perfect SpongeBob popsicle. No, that's big news, buddy. That's better than winning the lottery. Like, not even gonna lie. My guy has like so much SpongeBob stuff, it's like not even funny anymore. It's funny how much SpongeBob stuff I have. Oh, he's plugging my website. How kind of him. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, what the heck? Like, he goes at Dave and Buster's. Oh my gosh, well, but like, I'm... What's wrong with Dave and Buster's? This kid's childhood, I feel bad for. Oh, he goes to Dave and Buster's. Yeah, I do, and I have fun doing it. I love Dave and Buster's. You should go to Dave and Buster's and play arcade games. It's a blast. Look at his face. Look at SpongeBob's face. It's called being disgusted by a SpongeBob popsicle that isn't perfect. That's what the face is, Lampster. Can we please just read the description on one of his products? Funny viral stickers sold out. Oh my gosh. And just, bro, he's getting clout off of, like, wasting money at this point. Like, <laughs> Okay, Lampster. Lampster. Lampster, Lampster, Lampster. Sold out means there's none left. For example, Lamster, when you begged your mom to buy you the new Xbox and she went to GameStop and they were sold out, it means they don't have any left. So that's why in the title and description it says out of stock. So people visiting my website know they can't buy one because I'm sold out. I mean, who wouldn't want that sticker? Which I'm currently working on restocking, so. Hold on, what did he say again about the wasting money? He's getting clout off of, like, wasting money at this point. Like, <laughs> He's getting clout off of wasting money. So. Me having a website, selling stickers, making a profit, is me wasting money and getting clout for that. I can't understand this child! What does that mean? They're also called funny viral stickers because I can't legally call them Spongebob nor Popsicle. So they're funny viral sticker to avoid all copyright and legal issues. Plus it's my painting turned into a sticker and I technically own the design. That, my dear child, is why it's called funny viral sticker because I don't need a lawsuit with Nickelodeon. I don't know if we're supposed to know why, like, his logo is a lock, but... Bro, it's Pop the Lock! It's my favorite game at the arcade! You don't know me! This is the game Pop the Lock, and then we made a sticker based off of that game. It's not rocket science, Lamster! Oh, this little child. Look at his face! Like, literally no one asked! Look at his face, no one asked?! It's literally blurred! Oh my gosh, so iconic. Mr. Hammer! Mr. Hammer sticker, bruh! Lamster, I sold a lot of those stickers. I sold a lot of Mr. Hammer stickers. And we, you can still buy one at www.brenttelevision.com if you really want to, Lamster. You can have your own Mr. Hammer sticker. This is the clout off of wasting money again. 
What does that mean? Clout off of wasting money. What does that mean? How do brains work when it comes to this? What is he talking about? This is so funny. This is better than any stand-up comedian I've ever seen. And oh my gosh, this, this sticker is like so much better than the actual Brent TV. Whoa! And the crooked nose, which is just... What? Oh my gosh, he's selling an $8 value... Bundle pack, oh my god! I no, 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 bundle pack. It's the mini sticker bundle pack. That is one of the most popular items on the website. Thank you for plugging it, Lamster. This kid gave me a free advertisement. The whole video is him talking about my website and just showing the prices and the product. I mean, this is great. Bye. Bye right now. Bye. Bye. Do it while you can, but... It sounds like he has an iPad on in the background covered in like talkies and Mountain Dew and he's playing like a copyright free background song. It doesn't sound like he added in his own song. So now we're gonna watch a little bit of his footage because like we just need to show the boys like how sus and how weird this guy is, all right? Yeah, we need to show the boys how sus and weird this guy is. <laughs> well, I was at the store yesterday and I came across Among Us, Among Us crewmates. It's kind Okay, first of all, Among Us is dead, bro. Like, what? Among Us is dead. Huh. Lamster, can you explain to me how that video I made a week ago got 3 million views? It's dead? Thanks for letting me know. I'll never make a video about Among Us ever again because you said it yourself. It's dead. Mike's it only down. had 10 left, so I, hopefully they actually no, literally like the can't picture. Talk. If like you're ready for this video, make sure to give it a thumb. I leave in my mistakes in videos to show that nobody's perfect. Like my role model, Hannah Montana, says. If you watched Max and Ruby, you had a good childhood. So what? Yeah. It says right there, as soon as he cringed at Max and Ruby, I knew this child did not have a good childhood. Oh my gosh, ah! Bert, you're such a troll. I'm a troll? <laughs> okay, that was my but, first joke for the video. Bro, he just made another mistake and said Ted again. It's troll. Get it in your head, Brent. Sadly, none of them are gold-plated. Hopefully for Series 2, they do that. If there's actually a Series 2 of these. This box is pretty amazing. Bro, this is not gonna be a Series 2. Okay, now he starts, like, beatboxing the Among Us thing for no reason. How do you realize? Hey! He just did it! Why can he beatbox it, but I'm not allowed? Lamster is sus! Uh, this video is kind of getting longer than I really want it to be, so I'm pretty sure- It's very long, Lamster. It should have ended after three seconds. And, like, I'd honestly rather watch Space Jam A New Legacy than watch Jam and He's trying to think of stuff to say, so he, like, scrolls down, he's like, You know, I'd rather watch a Space Jam than Brent TV. We're gonna leave now. Woo! Yeah, if you want a part two, then comment. Like, but We have the option to get a part two from him? Okay, what am I gonna comment? What am I gonna comment? And well, there you have it. My hater. This is literally all fun and games to me. Don't go over there and be hateful. I, I honestly don't care. The reason I did this video is to show you what people are like when they hate me. They more so just hate my content or how I look. And I genuinely don't care. I can't let one nine-year-old upset me when I have thousands, millions of people who do support me. And my best advice, if you ever do get hate from someone, I just, I laugh it off. It's, it's funny to me. But Lamster, if you're seeing this, your video was cute. But hey everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, if you wanna see more videos of haters of mine, because I found a lot of videos, let me know down below and I'll definitely make more reactions because it's funny to me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. It's 100% free to subscribe. As you all saw, Lamster plugged my merchandise and if you didn't get that link to the website, it's www.brenttelevision.com and I'll link it down below. We're almost at 25,000 on Instagram. Drop a follow on Instagram. And most importantly, you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. Brent TV is sus.